Hey, what's going on? It's Leanne. Uh, if you can hear, you might be able to hear, my windows are closed, but the church bells are ring ringing outside. Um, it's a really cool um, thing in this area is that there's a church with bells that go off and, uh, and it kind of tells me when it's noon. So I know it's noon now as I'm recording this, just because they just went off literally five seconds before I started hitting the record. I'm standing in my kitchen right now. I'm actually leaning forward so that my face can be on camera. Uh, and I'm, you can see I'm wearing a gray shirt right now, but actually I was wearing a white shirt today uh, for a little mini Seder. Uh, it's not really uh, Passover yet. Uh, it starts tomorrow, e tomorrow evening. Uh, and tomorrow evening I'm having a little Seder with, uh, with my sister and my brother and, you know, my wife and then just our close immediate family. Um, but uh, anyway, I, I changed out of it because I need to make gefilte fish. <laughs> so, which I'm actually, for whatever reason, not so looking forward to. Anyway, so I'm, I'm sitting here in the kitchen and, and you know, I guess I'm kind of looking forward to it. I just hope it really comes out good. I'm, I'm doing kind of a unique recipe. It's not going to be, you know, little nuggets. It's going to be in, in squares in a pan and... Um, with the way that my cooking is, it's questionable whether it'll turn out right or not, but I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm good at following recipes. So I'm going to follow recipe to the T and hopefully it's a good one. So anyway, what I actually wanted to do in this video is share with you seven things that you can do if you're feeling kind of unmotivated for any reason. Uh, you know, if you need to do something and you're just feeling blah about it, you don't know what you want to do, you just want to sit down and, I don't know, play Candy Crush, Candy Crush Saga or something on your phone all day. Um, and actually for me, it's like, I just want to lay down and read a book or I just want to lay down and, and, and you know, use the uh, Lumosity app or something. So anyway, seven things that you can do to help you, you know, get back in, in action and get back into... Uh, an inspired and motivated state. So number one thing that I like to do when that happens, actually to read, but not just a, you know, a, any kind of book, not like a vampire mystery or something, which I do enjoy, um, but to read a book about what I do. So about marketing or a book about um, changes in people's lives, a book, a book that's in some way going to develop me uh, personally. And the result of reading a book like that is that, um, you actually, you actually, when you when you see how other people change and when you when you learn things, it there's something about I don't know there's something about learning. It's it's like two different things, right? I guess I can call this number one and two. Number one would be a personal development book where you're reading about other people's results and how they've changed. You know, almost like reading an autobiography or someone's biography of how they've surpassed something. Uh, and then and then number two would be reading a how-to book because when we're learning. Um, and, and growing, that's when we're happy. Um, and that's that's kind of like a, a human thing. So so that's number one and two is two different kinds of books. And in the same way, there's two different kinds of audios that, that you can listen to. Um, Audible um, is a great company that actually Amazon, I think, owns now. Uh, they definitely own it now. I don't know if they bought it or, or took it over or, or what, but they own it now. Um, and, and I love it because you can get every kind of book in there. You, you can get, you know, the, the regular vampire mystery book or whatever you want, you like to read, Fifty Shades of Grey, uh, which I haven't read, by the way. Um, and I don't really have an intention to, actually, um, unless someone puts in the comments that I really need to for any reason. But anyway, two different kinds of books, right? So we have uh, two different books, two different audios, and one of those audios, we can get motivational stuff like Zig Ziglar, right, where uh, he talks about people who, again, have... Um, overcome difficulties and, and, and gives you, you know, little stories to, to kind of make you think about your own life and what you can do. And then in the same way, you can get a book that on Audible that teaches you something, right? Um, like uh, Think and Grow Rich or um, um, my favorite of all times, I always say it, I had it in the last blog post, You're Right to Be Rich. So two books, two audios, uh, we're down to three left to go that I promised you. Actually, before I started recording this, I didn't know what they were gonna be, except for three of them. So, so now we've got four, and uh, the original third one, which is now number five, is actually writing down all the stuff that's going on. Because for me, a lot of times when I feel overwhelmed this way and I go, oh my God, I don't even want to, I don't want to pick up the phone. I, if I need to pick up the phone, I don't want to send an email. I don't want to do this thing. I don't want to take action anywhere. I don't want to go in the kitchen and cook. I, I just want to like, you know, sit down and do nothing. Um, a lot of times it's because I've got too much going on. And so one thing to do when you have too much going on is to, first of all, get it organized, but not just organized like, oh, I'm going to do this today and this tomorrow, because that's still overwhelming. Organize it into 
reasons why and into goals. So if you write out all the stuff you got to do that you don't feel like doing, right? And then you organize it into, into projects, if you will, or, you know, uh, what does this have to do with? What does this have to do with? Um, what does this, this task have to do with, you know, and then not just to look at it as, as projects, but to look at it and say, what's my personal reason, my purpose for doing this particular project? Right. In some cases it's going to be because, you know, to make more money. In some cases it's going to be to work with a certain kind of person that I want to work with. In some cases it's going to be um, to have, you know, some kind of result in my health. Right. So as you organize things and you look at them and you go, what is the reason that I wanted to do this in the first place? What's the big, the big reason? What you'll find is that your reasons will start to motivate you. And it's getting really uncomfortable to like lean forward on the counter in this weird way. So uh, I'm, I'm adjusting. Um, but yeah, so so think about your reason why, your purpose, and what you want to really, really accomplish. And that's going to take you a long way. So that's five things. And we're down to two things. So I, I promised you two more things. And to be honest with you, right now, I can't think of what they are. And instead of keeping you watching this and you know paying attention as I go um, um, and think, I'm going to add those last two things in text below this video for... Uh, for your enjoyment. So, uh, so what to do now? Well, first of all, just to let you know, this is video number three. I don't know if I'm going to keep counting because <laughs> I might lose count at some point, but this is number three in a 90 day video challenge. I would love for you to join the challenge. So I'm going to put a link for you below to join me. There are all kinds of amazing things that happen for you when you do a video challenge, right? Uh, number six. Oh my gosh, I've got number six for you. I'll still write everything down for you. Don't worry. Number six is creating habits because when you have daily habits of doing something that takes you towards a goal then it doesn't take so much um, motivation or willpower to get it done you just kind of do it it's just like getting up and brushing your teeth hopefully that's what you do right <laughs> hopefully you brush your teeth every day um, it's kind of a habit right so uh, so that's number six I might come up with number seven before I finish this if not again I'll write it down uh, but anyway I'd love for you to join the video challenge so many amazing things that happen when you start to record a video every day and whether you're in the in the market of selling something right which we're all selling something or whether you just want to connect with people or learn more about yourself or improve your speaking skills there are so many amazing things that happen for you when you record a video every day for 90 days and I uh, would love for you to join me so if you're interested in learning more click the link all the way on the bottom and uh, I just adjusted the camera by accident. There's actually the uh, the cord from the food processor that I borrowed from my sister that I'm going to use to make gefilte fish today. Um, just moved the, the little miniature tripod that my uh, phone is sitting on because again, it's really like super uncomfortable to lean against this, um, this counter the way I'm leaning against it. And if you saw it, you know what I mean. So anyway, number seven will be below this video as well as a link to for you to join the uh, 90 day video challenge, which would be so cool to have you do that. And, uh, and what's the last thing that I want to say is when you finish watching this video, feel free to leave a comment. I love to hear from you. I love you know questions, comments, uh, good, bad, uh, whatever you want to say, um, and uh, and then click around. And a lot of the uh, the banners on the site lead to stuff that I personally do, and uh, I want, I would love for you to check those things out. So uh, thanks so much for listening, and I'll see you in the next video. Love you. Bye bye.